how to measure piston to bore clearance. So we have the mic set up in here, right? We know that it's at 4015. Doesn't matter at this point because we're just gonna back it off. We wanna measure this piston at the skirt. Now I just put this compressor on here just to give me orientation so that these areas are equal and we're sticking in one area just for orientation purposes. And you wanna measure perpendicular to the wrist pin. So I put it in the vise, I hold the piston the best I can. I'm kind of looking at it in line with the wrist pin to be in the center up to the area of the red mark. And I had some orientation spots on here to kind of give me a, a, an idea. Let's take that out of there. Let's see what this says. I locked it already. So if you look here, I'll see if you can see it, but it comes out to be five, six, seven. It's nine, 4.09. Now let's go and we're gonna center this back in the vise. Now we're gonna take our dial board gauge and measure it and put this at zero. So that's the exact same size as the piston. Hold everything. Actually, that's good right there. Now let's go to the engine. So in theory, if the piston's at nine thousandths, then this should be somewhere between four to six would be nice for an engine and this component with drag racing. So we're already at what? Five, six, there's seven. It almost looks like 7,500. Five, six, seven. So it's 7,500. So seven thousand, seven and a half thousandths piston to wall clearance is what it comes up to. Now you would go down. Now you would go down in the three areas and measure the board to see if there's any taper to it. We're not doing that. This is just a quick demonstration of how to use these instruments. I've never used them before, but I'm learning and it's something you might want to think about too. Stay tuned to DBG, baby. Always seeing and learning something new.